Ow. Uh, ow, ow. Just kidding. Actually, this, this is not from that. This is wine. And this wine is from the spigot. And I just caught the cat biting the spigot and drinking the wine. I guess it was bound to happen sooner or later. My cat's an alcoholic. Okay, so here's an update, and I just, sometimes I just don't understand. I'm sitting here, and the video that just published, the one that I made about the Black Tank sensor, uh, it's been live now for about five hours or so, and I'm sitting here uh, just kind of relaxing, and then I pulled up my app uh, on my phone because my air conditioning went off, and I was like, well, what temperature is it in here? Because I'm still trying to get that settings right. And I come over here, and I see Black Tank completely empty even though I know it's not so you know what I I don't know what to, I don't know what to do if you haven't seen that video of the one I'm talking about I'll link it up over here on the on the top on the card um, but yeah this thing just continues to baffle me so but hey it says zero so I'm happy today I want to talk about social media and I'm not talking about Facebook or Twitter and how much to post and all that I want to talk about a feature of social media, specifically on Facebook, called memories. Now, it's ironic because on Facebook, they do a really good job at like bringing you back. They do a really good job at like saying, hey, here's what happened five years ago, seven years ago, 10 years ago. Here's your day that you became friends with this person. Here's something that it, it takes you back. And when that happens, you want to post more because you want Facebook to remind you in five years from now what you were doing today. It kind of puts you right in that, it brings you right back to that moment. And I say that today for two reasons. A, on my memories list, it came up that um, I was tagged in my very first photo with Paul, and you remember Paul from picking up the Super CRV. Anyways, it's ironic because he's coming out today and uh, we're gonna go do some wine tasting in Temecula, so that'll be fun. I think we're going to actually take our e-bikes and go from winery to winery. So that will be interesting. But more importantly, memories is what happens when you're out doing something. Memories is what happens when you're camping in the RV, in the rig, when you're... So anyways, I wanted to share some of these memories I had with you with some people that came out on my last week before I went full timing right here at this very campground. It's Saturday. Look who's here. It's me. That's Liam Wall. I'll link his info up in the little page when he's not touring, playing music, or, you know, starring in feature-length films. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing today? Uh, we're, we're hanging out in Temecula. We're going to walk around the RV site and just try and find a cool location to shoot some video. Yeah. All right. So we've got this camera set up with the road mic that should pick up some pretty good audio we're hoping we'll see. yeah we'll see and I'll be using this camera to get some other shots that we can utilize throughout the thing so as long as we don't have any um, geese or something starting a fight behind us in the grass <laughs> I think we should be okay 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 we're right. good choke on the sun and the days blur into one the backs of my eyes something like that what if we set up a light would that help do you have a light i have my ring light i don't know if that would even no you can try it you want to get it let's see first time i saw these it was uh someone was using it as like a beauty influencer and you can see the rings in the eyes. You always see the rings in the eyes, but like everyone uses it. So it's like, I guess that look has been accepted now. <laughs> I don't know about that. But. I don't like it because that just shows that you can, you can see your lighting. Ring light. Is this, so this is where you put your phone? Oh yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> we don't need that. So. All right. Take yeah. a look at yourself and frame yourself up there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's interesting to look back 
on um, the videos that I've done and the photos that I've taken and then recall. It's amazing how video and music and smells and these things can just put you right back into that moment. Look who's here. It's me. It's Juan. Hi. We're getting ready to go on a, what's the name of the trail? I have no idea, I totally forgot. Three Peaks Trail is one of them. I know that's for sure. That was a longer one, right? I think that's we were going on the shorter one. Yeah, I think, uh, well, anyways, we'll find out when we get there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, watch out, camo. We're at a park and it says uh, Menifee Cross Trail. It starts, yeah, it looks like just right up that way. Well, no more than, what, 15 steps out of the car and we were already went the wrong direction. <laughs> thought we had it right, but yeah, then we walked around this baseball diamond and we got to a dead end and we're like, wait, that's not right. So it looked like we're supposed to go around the side. So we're just kind of, we're walking around the fence side to this. Here, let me flip this around. You see it? Is that way? Okay, so we just kind of have to cut through. Ugh. Cut through this way. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Why is that gate closed? So what are we doing? Just going around or are we going up? <laughs> it's not much of a fence, is it? Well, somehow we got way off course. We were supposed to have turned right at some point, then we went left and kept walking. So now we're we're backtracking. How was the climb? Let's climb to the top of a mountain, Juan said. It'll be fun, Juan said. <laughs> it's nice when you can see the finish line right in front of you. It kind of gives you that second wind, that extra strength just to kind of get yourself over the top when otherwise all you want to do is just crawl up into a ball and fall down this hill. All right, maybe like a hundred more steps. Hey. What, are you ready to come down already? No, I just got, I just got here. Just making sure you're okay. <laughs> All right, well, that was a nice little view. Very nice. Little view. stop. Love the view. Yeah. I didn't realize we were flying the drone trying to get some footage, and there's the group of kids and whoever that was there, and um, didn't realize they were having like a little quiet time Bible study thing up here while we were talking and looking at the drone and making all that noise. So sorry, guys. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't know you were. <laughs> Oops. Baby steps. You know, one of these times I'm going to take a hike and not get lost. Today is not that day. Today is not that day. But thankfully it's a beautiful day. <laughs> yes, and it's not too hot. Not we too got hot. plenty of water yeah. and we have cell signal, yeah. so could be worse. Yeah. So here's a pro tip. I've never done these before because... another clock? <laughs> Wait, is that the same? Hold on. No, there's no way. Is, that's not the same one? We just didn't go around in a big circle? Right? No. No. Imagine that's the one we were supposed to go to. Wait, how can... Really? It's so weird. <laughs> okay. Here's a pro tip. And I know right now, I'm probably the last person who should be giving pro tips about hiking. But this one will make sense. Go in the morning. Don't go at night. Because okay. if you go at night and you get lost, it'll get dark. <laughs> And then you'll get lost. That's my pro tip. Worst case, there's homes right over there. We just get to a sidewalk and then call an Uber. Yeah. Pro tip number two this hike. It's always a good thing to end up where you started. We failed at that one. So I guess we're still not professionals at hiking yet. So, so nobody on their deathbed, they don't talk about what TV shows they watched or did you catch the series finale of this or did you see what happened in this episode? When people are on their deathbed, they don't talk about that. Or when people are lying in a coma and the doctor says, talk to them, talk to them, you know, remind them of something. Nobody ever talks about, you know, who the bachelor picked in season seven or whatever. I don't, I don't even know. I don't, again, I don't watch that much TV. But what they talk about is they say, do you remember when? Do you remember when we took that camping trip? Do you remember when we crashed that car? Do you remember, you know, all these memories, all these stories, all these... Okay. This video is taking a unique twist. This is water and it's leaking 
it's leaking from there. Okay, well, anyways, sorry, I digress about that. But people don't talk about memories in, in that form. You know, people don't talk about TV or what they watched. They talk about the memories that were created while they were out camping, out doing something, road trips, spontaneous stupidity, as it would seem. That's what people remember. That's what people talk about when times are tough and when times are matter. That's why it's important that we're out and we're creating memories all the time instead of just being lazy watching reruns of old TV episodes, uh, which I admit sometimes I do, but I try not to. So get out there and make some memories. There's one. Bye, one. Gosh, I'm just uh, driving to the winery right now and my body is starting to ache. I just, I just don't know why. I mean, it was a great hike. It was long, but I think between that the early morning fresh air and the big breakfast at the uh, breakfast club which was by the way amazing um the staff the service everyone was there if you're ever in menifee or in the temecula area uh, check that one out uh the breakfast club of menifee um, but i could just go for a nap and when i say go for a nap i mean like i can lay down for the night and it's only not even three o'clock yet but wine tasting Temecula County, Temecula area, California. Um, absolutely, this is this is gonna be fun. Once I get that first flight, then I think everything will be all good to go by then. I hope so. You think I can get somewhere today without having to walk into the freaking hill? Like, really? Hello? Because we just picked up a ride. I'm. Because there's an event like a wedding going on, and we're in the lower part. I I just passed the wedding, so I'm right near the main entrance. Did you park or not yet? No, I parked. I'm I'm I walked through like what was apparently an employee entrance. What are you doing? Stop it! The girls behind me, they're roseing it all day. This, this is who I left Wanda to go hang out with. <laughs> Look at these two. Oh, and them too, but I don't know them well enough to give them a hard time yet. So, look at these two. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Get out of here. All right, get Selfies? Oh, wait, all right. Let me are we selfie? So I look cool on my Instagram. Okay, hold on. All right. This is okay. Get over there the side. Okay, so. All right. Well, I'm trying to get everyone in here. <laughs> the things we do for Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so we're leaving the first winery and apparently I got suckered into Matt come over here this is Matt hello hi hi so apparently I'm supposed to be planning his bachelor party even though we got married six months ago we're gonna get it on all on film yes <laughs> And do like morning, uh, it's like sunrise walks, med sunset meditations, yoga. Maybe that's a little, your ideal bachelorette party. Yes, maybe that's what you want. Maybe a little bit of mushrooms. <laughs> you know, some DMT. <laughs> oh my gosh, Lizzie's friends. Totally awesome, but they're gonna be the death of me. No, not really. <laughs> Not really, no. Okay. We're going to the next winery. They're all gonna be the same. Oh wait. So I'm just leaving the second winery here. We just had some dinner and whatever, but I wanna show you this site if I can get it. Check this out. See that moon? It's just like right behind the thing. Let me check that out. Oh, look at that moon shining. Oh yeah, oh wait, we're like, oh yeah, look at that. So 
So thanks for watching this. Remember to get out there and make those memories. It's the start of the summer season. There's plenty of opportunity to get out there. So get out there, grab your friends, grab your family, start making those memories. We will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching Claim the Vision and be sure to like, follow and subscribe here on YouTube and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Claim the Vision. I'll see you in the next video.